come together on this day, this first day of September. This day never existed in history before, but the Lord has seen it fit to spare our lives to see this day. And this is a day which the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Glory to God. To God be all the glory. The heavens declare the glory of God. The firmament shows his handiwork. Creation praise God. Create creation adore him. And all that men will praise the Lord for his goodness, for his loving kindness towards the children of men. Had it not been for the goodness of God, none of us would be here today. So let us take time out as we celebrate, as we enjoy the end of the summer season. Let us give God thanks that we have made it through to this day. Hallelujah. So we are just here to lift up the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ is Lord. Do you agree with that today? He is Lord. And we give him all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. He is our creator. Hallelujah. And so we thank God that we are alive today. And we can praise him. We're not in the hospital. Hallelujah. And if you can hear me, maybe you are home. Um, but we thank God that you have the ability to hear. And for those who are in the park, uh, thank God you have the ability to be here today. And maybe you're not in a wheelchair. And even if you're in a wheelchair, you're not lying in bed. You're not bedridden. But in everything, we're going to give praise. We're going to give thanks. How uh, Once we have life, once we have breath, we are going to praise him in season and out of season. Glory to God. So let's lift up our hearts in worship. Feel free to come and join us. We are from World Harvest Deliverance Center in Far Rockaway, New York, just up the street from here. Not too far. We welcome you to our fellowship, World Harvest Deliverance Center. Tomorrow, Labor Day, God's willing, our lives are spared. I will invite you to stop by. And we do have some goodies for our children returning to school. And for the adults to come by and see where we are. And let's just have a great Labor Day celebration. We're not going to be with you long today. And we're going to invite you to have lunch with us right after we're finished. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We are in your presence. Fill us with your power. Lord, live inside of me. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Lord, we are in your presence. Fill us with your power, Lord, live inside of me. You're the living water, my never drying fountain, comforter and counselor. We welcome you. We welcome your holy presence. We are in your prayer. Hallelujah. Fill us. Fill us right now, Jesus. Fill us with your power. Live inside of me. Hallelujah. For you're the living water. Hallelujah. You're the living water. Hallelujah. My never dried fountain. Never trying fountain. Come on, we lift them up, we lift them up, we lift them up. Comforter and counselor. Take complete control. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We are in your presence. with 
lift your power Live inside of me He's worthy of all praise. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. We give you honor and we give you praise, Lord God. You are worthy. You are worthy. Glory to God. We're going to do Psalm 150. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. I'll never know how much it costs to see my sins upon the cross. Here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God, you're all together lovely, all together worthy, you're all together wonderful to me. I never know, I'll never just how much it cost, how much to see my sins upon the cross. To see my sins. Yeah. 
He has said, with his power, he has raised me. With his power, he has raised me. To God be all the glory. To God be the glory for the things he has done. Just let me live. My life and let it be pleasing to thee. And should I gain any praise, let it go to Calvary. For his blood, he has said. Jesus, he has raised the same power in the blood to God be the glory for the things he has done. So let me live my life. So let me live my Lord. Let it be pleasing to thee. Let it be pleasing to thee. And should I gain any praise, let it go to Calvary. It is blood he has said. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God, He has done. Hallelujah! We are here today because we have been saved through the blood of Jesus Christ. We can sing today because Jesus sets me free. One day when I was in sin, Jesus reached down His hand of love. Hallelujah! And he delivered me from the pit of hell. He delivered me from the power of sin, from the slavery of sin. So today I can sing to God be the glory. For today I am free. I am no longer a slave, hallelujah, of the enemy. But I'm a slave for Jesus Christ. I am bound to obey him. For he is my Lord. He is my all. Thank God for the blood. Today we want to introduce Jesus Christ to you. If you do not know him as your Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Today we invite you to accept Jesus. Praise God. I'm going to invite our minister, Stacey Unblair. She's going to lead us to the throne of grace right now. And you can pray with us right now. You can lift up your heart in prayer. You can pray a secret prayer. Lord, have mercy upon me, a sinner. God has allowed you to see today. You did not get up today because of your strength. You did not get up today because you do what it takes to live a healthy life. You did not get up today because you go to the gym or because you eat right or because you're a good person. We're here today by the grace of God. Today you can say, Lord, you have given me life, hallelujah, and I want to surrender my life to you. I want to give my life back to you. So as we pray right now, he's only a prayer way. You don't have to know how to pray. Just talk to him in your way, in your language. God has kept you. We are here today for you. If you're under the sound of my voice today, God has brought us here for you. Hallelujah. We have brought the church here for you today because Jesus loves you. On this first day of September 2024, you can experience a new birth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus, we praise your name, O oh God. We worship you. We exalt you. We magnify your God. Father, we lift you up, O oh God. We give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise that is due unto your name, O oh God. Lord, we thank you for this new day, O oh God, that we can rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you, O oh God, that you've given us life, physical life, O oh God. 
We thank you, O oh God, that we have our functioning, O oh God, that we can offer upon to you. O oh God, we thank you, Lord God, that we can see, we can speak, we can move, we can be about, O oh God. We can be about our business in the park here, O oh God. But Lord God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that your ultimate purpose, O oh God, is to give us eternal life, O oh God. And so we thank you, Lord God, that you sent your son, Jesus Christ, to die on Calvary's cross and to be resurrected so that we can have eternal life through Jesus Christ alone. And so, God, we thank you, O oh God, for this life. O oh God, we come before you today, O oh God. We present this community before you, oh God. We present every individual that is in the sound, oh God, of our voices, oh God. We pray, my God, that you will minister to their hearts, oh God, even now, even as the word is delivered, oh God, even as we proclaim the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. We pray, oh God, that you will prick every heart, oh God, those who do not have eternal life, oh God, oh God, that they will look to you today, oh God, that they will surrender their sins to you, oh God, they surrender their lives to you, O oh God. They repent of their sins, O oh God. For we were all born in sin and shaped in iniquity, O oh God. O oh God, we thank you, O oh God, that you sent your Son so that you can wash us from our sins and cleanse us, O oh God, to redeem us and to give us life anew. You promise, O oh God, that he who has the Son has life. And the one who does not have the Son does not have life. Those who are without the Son today, O oh God, Father, we pray that you will give them life to thee, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, let hearts be surrendered, oh God, to your will and to your way. We come against every forces of darkness, oh God, that will seek to hinder your word being proclaimed. Lord God, we know, oh God, that you will have all power, oh God, all dominion, oh God, belongeth to you. And oh God, you, Lord God, will turn the hearts of men towards you, oh God. Oh God, for you are in control of all things. Have your own way today, oh God. Be magnified and glorified as we lift up your name, oh God, your promise is that you will draw all men unto you. Hallelujah. We give you all the glory, hallelujah. all the honor and the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, give a shout of praise. Hallelujah. For hallelujah is the highest praise. God give us our mind to praise him. He has given us our lips to praise him. He has given us our heart that we can serve him with all our heart. God has given your hands so you lift up holy hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. The blood prevails the blood of the risen Lamb. It has power, power to save, just as, as in olden days, the Yes, it has power. It has power. Power to save. Just as, as in olden days. Jesus' blood. Jesus' blood had a remedy. Yes, Jesus' blood had a remedy. Oh, Jesus' blood had a remedy. It is a good, good remedy. The blood of Jesus, Jesus' blood had a remedy. Yes, Jesus' blood had a remedy. Oh, Jesus' blood had a remedy. It is a good, good remedy. There is power in the blood of Jesus. Amen. We're going to do Psalm 150. Psalm 150. And we're going to lift up a praise to the Lord. Hallelujah. Continue to worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Psalm 150 here beginneth. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary.
Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him in his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and the harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with string instruments and organs. Praise him, praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 That's why we bless the Lord. Because we are alive today. We have breath. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When we have a relationship with Jesus Christ, there's always something to bless the Lord. When you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you can praise your way through your problems. And all of us have problems. All of us have challenges. All of us are faced with the cares of life. Hallelujah. 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 There is problem on every side. But when you have Jesus Christ, hallelujah, we can get through everything. For his grace is sufficient. Praise God. I'm going to invite those who are here with me to just give a word of testimony to encourage you at this time. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. The word said, oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good and his mercy endure it forever. Praise God. Hallelujah. Today, I give God thanks for the gift of salvation. Today, as I stand here, I give God thanks for the peace that passed all understanding. As our pastor just said, everyone have problem. We all have our trials. We all have our tribulation. But for me, I could not make it without God. There is no way I can make it without God. So I give God thanks today that even when I'm going through whatever, because we all go through every single day, but I know that there is a God who goes before me, that there is a God who allowed all my trials and my tribulation for his glory and for his honor and for his praise. So today I am grateful that Jesus has went to that cross just for me, that while he was on that cross, I was on his mind. So I'm so grateful today that I have a chance to repent of my sin, that I have a chance to say, God, forgive me for my sins. God, have your way in me. And God did that for me. So I give God thanks today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. I can tell you I have a big mouth when it comes to Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise God. This morning, I just want to give God thanks. Guess what? He woke me up this morning. Hallelujah. I'm alive and well. Hallelujah. I've got clothes on my body. And I'm sure I had breakfast this morning because you were not there. So I can tell you that he feeds me. He clothed me. I'm in my right mind. And that's the reason why I can give God the glory this morning. I just want to greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Why I can greet you like that is because he saved me just in time. When I was on the brink of letting go, he said, my daughter, I'm here. He held on to me and I'm here today. I just want to worship God. If you are out of God and Christ, make time. Make it your day today because we don't know what tomorrow brings. God bless you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Today I give God thanks that I have life, not just because I'm standing before you and I'm moving and I'm breathing, but I have eternal life in Jesus Christ because I was born in sin and in my trespasses just like every one of us, but thanks be to God. I surrendered my heart to him. I repented of my sins. I asked God to come and wash me and cleanse me. 
and deliver me and set me free. And he did that for me. And for that time, and from that time until now, I am rejoicing in a salvation that is so full and so free. And that same gift of salvation is available to you today. And I encourage you to ask the Lord to come into your heart. Repent of your sins, and he will indeed forgive you. He says, when you call upon me, I will hear and I will answer. If you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to forgive you and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. God came to give you life and to give it to the full. His word is that he sent his son Jesus Christ so that you will have eternal life. Won't you receive eternal life today in Jesus' name? God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer. St. John 3 and verse 16. Hallelujah. Many of us know that verse. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And the next verse says, And God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. We have the gift of God today. We are rejoicing because we have the gift of God, which is his son, Jesus Christ, who brought salvation to us. He is the Messiah. He is the promised Messiah. And the Messiah has come. Hallelujah. But he didn't come the way that they were expecting him. But it was prophesied that of a boy, a virgin Mary would give forth a son and his name would be called Jesus. He would be Emmanuel, God with us. He would save the people from their sins. And so he's coming back again as a judge, not as a baby in a manger, but he's coming back, hallelujah, to judge, hallelujah, the quick and the dead. And so today is your opportunity to accept the salvation that Jesus Christ purchased for us. For we were born in sin, hallelujah, as a result of the fall of Adam and Eve, hallelujah. We became sinners because they disobeyed God. But God in his mercy, he promised that the seed of the woman would bruise the head of the serpent. And that seed is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And if you will accept him today, you will have life, eternal life. Because Jesus Christ is the door. God sent his son. And Jesus says, I am the door. And if any man will come in, he must come through me. Any other way is a thief and a robber. Jesus is the way to eternal life. The word of God tells us for the wages of sin is death, eternal death. We have physical death as a result of sin. That's the curse of sin. The physical, the body is dying every day. Every day our body is dying. And there's going to come a day when we're going to have the final expiration. We are dying from the day we are born. Glory to God. And so there's a physical death and there's eternal death. But Jesus says, uh, the word of God says, the wages of sin is death. After the physical, then the spiritual. But the gift of God, we have a gift today. And we want to share that gift with you. The gift of God is eternal life. Everlasting life with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It is appointed unto man once to die. But after death comes the judgment. You got to know that there is a death. But because of the spirit that is in us, the spirit of man never dies. The spirit is going to go on to live eternally. And so if you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you will spend eternity with God in peace in heaven. And if you do not know the Lord, if you are living for the devil, if you have not accepted forgiveness of your sin, because all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, we were all born in sin. None of us is good. We were 
were all born in sin and shaped in iniquity, but we do not have to die in sin. Jesus Christ has made a way, a provision for us. And if we would only say, Lord, have mercy, confess that we are sinner. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter how wretched you are. It doesn't matter where you have been and what you have done. But the blood of Jesus Christ washes whiter than snow. There's power in the blood. I stand redeemed today because of the blood. I once was lost in sin. Oh, my back was turned towards God. But I accepted Jesus Christ. And if you can acknowledge that you were born in sin, if you can acknowledge that you're a sinner, how oh, there is hope for you. But if you believe that you don't need to be saved, if you believe that you're not a sinner, if you believe that you're a good person and you're going to go to heaven, if you believe that everybody goes to heaven, then you're falling for the lie of the devil. Everybody doesn't go to heaven. You got to go through Jesus Christ. You got to be forgiven of your sins. And today, hallelujah, if you would say, Lord, forgive me of my sins. Lord, forgive me, Lord. I'm sorry. It's not just words, but it's a turnaround. It's a godly repentance. Hallelujah. Godly sorrow leads to repentance. And so you can be sorry about something and you don't change. But when you have a godly sorrow, hallelujah, your lives will be transformed. You will experience that spiritual birth. For the physical birth has the Adamic nature. But when we have the spiritual birth, when we are born not of the water only, but of the spirit and the blood, the baptism doesn't save you. You go into the water as a wet Christ, a wet sinner. You come out as a dry sinner, a dry sinner. Go down as a dry sinner. Come out as a wet. Anyway, it's confusion. Uh, the water cannot save you. The power is in the blood. Amen. Hallelujah. So I want to present Jesus Christ, whatever you're condition. If you want to spend eternity with Jesus Christ, ask God to forgive you of your sins. Have mercy upon me, Lord God. Jesus loves you with an everlasting love. It was love that drew salvation plan. It's not God's wish that any should perish, but that all shall come to the repentance and the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Will you accept him today? Will you call upon him today? There's power in that name. Just say, Jesus, have mercy upon me today. Is there one who say, pray for me, pastor? Pray for me, I need Jesus. Is there one who say, have mercy? Pray for for me, remember me in your prayers. We're here for you today. God has given us this gift, the gift of Jesus Christ, the gift of eternal life. We were condemned to die. We were condemned to die. But thank God for Jesus. I don't have to die in sin. I don't have to die in sin. I don't have to live in depression because there's hope in God's word. Glory, the psychologist can't help you. The psychiatrist can't help you. The doctor can't help you. Only Jesus can bring deliverance. You have suicidal thoughts. Oh, you are depressed. Oh, you think there's no hope. You lost your loved one. You lost your children. You lost your husband. You lost your parents. You lost your job. There is hope in Jesus Christ. We all suffer loss. We all suffer loss, but we can get over it. We can get over it in the name of Jesus. Come to Jesus today. Come to Jesus. We're offering you life. We're offering you hope. Hallelujah. The Apostle Paul says, for me to live is Christ. So as long as I live, I'm going to live for Christ. Every breath that I take. I'm going to glorify God. The apostles say, for me to live is Christ. And guess what? Hallelujah. To die is gain. To die is gain. So we're not going to fear those who threaten the body. We're not afraid of anybody because my life is in God's hand. In the name of Jesus, I am not afraid because I have not the spirit of fear. For God has given me the spirit of love and of power and of a sound mind. So when this body is laid down, this corruptible body, hallelujah, when I lay it down, I gain eternal life in the name of Jesus and that's why we act crazy that's why we look foolish because we don't care this world is not our home we're not here to please anyone we're here to lift up Jesus I don't need to be cute God created me I am fearfully and wonderfully made I'm created in the image of God I don't need to be cute glory to God 
I know I'm already cute. Hallelujah. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Let us appreciate whom God has made us to be. Let us glorify God in our bodies. Our bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I'm going to worship God in this temple, this, this mortal flesh. I'm going to use it for the glory of God. For we were created for his glory. We were created for his pleasure. We were created for his purpose. And so I'm going to use this corruptible body, this little house of clay. I'm going to use it as God's temple. Our oh, Lord God, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true. We got to go through some things for God to get the glory. The devil is going to try us. He's going to test us. And God will allow him so that our faith will be made perfected. God is going to allow us to go through some things. Hallelujah. So our faith can be strengthened. Hallelujah. We got to go through some things so we can experience the goodness of God. We can experience the miraculous power of God. If you don't go through anything, you don't get to prove God. You got to read the Bible. You got to read the Bible. And God always came through when there was difficulty. If everything is going good, we don't need to pray. We don't need to trust God. But when there's no way, hallelujah, we know where we can turn. So I want to thank God today. I want to give you hope today. I want to bless you today. You won't leave here the same way you came today. You didn't know you were going to have an encounter with God when you came to the park today. Glory to God. But I thank God for those of you here. I thank God for those of you who are listening attentively. I want to know that God is a good God. It doesn't matter what's going on. It doesn't matter what's going on in the government. It doesn't matter what report the doctor says. It doesn't matter what's going on in your family. I want to know that my God, the God that I serve, I don't know who you serve, but the God that I serve is a good God. He's faithful. He's just. He's awesome. He's all powerful. He's a healer. He's a deliverer. He's a peacemaker. He's a light in the darkness. Hallelujah. He's a life giver. He's a source of all that is good. But he will allow, he will allow us to go through certain things because we're living in a sinful world. We're living in a sinful flesh, but you can't make it without him. Hallelujah. If you do not know him today, call upon him. Call upon him. We're bringing the church to you today. We're bringing the church to you today. You didn't know you were coming to church today. When you came to the park, you thought you were coming for a picnic. You thought you were coming to hang out. But God had an appointment with you. And I encourage you. I entreat you to call upon Jesus. Today is the day of salvation. He's only a prayer way. All of us had to be born the same way. Hallelujah. All of us had to be born asking Jesus to forgive us of our sins and to come into our hearts. That is the way we come to know Jesus Christ. Admitting that I am a sinner and Jesus came to save me from my sin. Hallelujah. There is hope, my friend. There is hope. Tell somebody beside you there is hope. There is hope. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. He is a good God. Once again, we're from World Harvest Deliverance Center, and I am Minister Yvonne C. Rankin, and I love the Lord. I'm crazy for Jesus. I've been serving God for a good long while. Amen. I'm older than I look. Amen. I'm serving God for a good long while, and I found no fault in him. He is faithful. Hallelujah. And I'm so excited. I'm living, you know, people said they're living the best life, and they don't know Jesus, but that's not the best life. Your best life cannot be lived if you don't know Jesus. So if you think you're living your best life, come to Jesus and you'll see what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. He, he's, just, he's just excited and I just thank God. Thank you for uh, tuning in. Thank you for spending your time with us today. We have a radio program. We hear every Monday night on 570, the mission AM, 570, every Monday night at 915. 
5.70 a.m., the mission, and God has a word for you. It's so exciting to serve God. It's so exciting to live for God. Hallelujah. The blessings of the Lord, it make it rich, and it added no sorrow to it. Hallelujah. When you have the Lord, the joy that you have is not conditional on what's going on in your life. So I want to thank God for you. We're at 1521 Central Avenue, World Harvest Deliverance Center. We're just right across uh, from the school, um, Far Rockaway. 1521 Central Avenue in Far Rockaway. And tomorrow we're inviting you out. We're going to um, have uh, uh, a fun day, laboring, eating, and giving out gifts to the community. We invite you to stop by, and we have some school supplies, and first come, first serve. Bring your children out, and let, we also have a Christian academy, and we have children from pre-K to eighth grade. Our children come and they spend their preschool years, uh, their elementary school years at our school, and then they move on to high school. And they excel, they're doing excellently, and this is a mission where we can educate our children in a Christian school, a Christian atmosphere. Glory to God. The world offers what they offer, and the church, we offer what God has given us to give to the world, because Jesus Christ is the hope of the world. Jesus Christ is the hope of mankind. And so we see what's going on in the world. We see what's happening with our children and the families. Our children are going out of their minds. Our children are being killed. Our children are being recruited for gangs. Our children and our young people are on drugs. Uh, we have never seen uh, the scale of mental illness. My God, the psychiatrists don't have the answer. My God, my God, the medication is not the answer. Jesus is the answer. Glory to God. If you don't know Jesus Christ, what are you going to offer to people? It's misery upon misery. So we have a Christian academy, and this is our 15th year. Glory to God. It's uh, this week. This week, uh, we will mark 15 years of God's faithfulness. Our children have moved on to high school and, and colleges, universities, and you know, just out there making a difference. So if you're looking for a school for your child, your children, or grandchildren, check us out at 1521 Central Avenue in Far Rockaway, New York. And our number 347-737-8625. That's three four seven seven three seven eight six two five check us out hallelujah jesus is the way is the truth and he's the life i thank god for you and um, my husband uh, reverend trevor l rankin come honey you're going to close us out and i'm um, just thank god for what he's doing the great and mighty things that he's doing in this ministry praise god we have lunch for you so just join us over by the table right after we're finished and grab something just to let you know we love you and we appreciate you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Um, our pastor, our leader, the visionary of this ministry, he's coming right now, Reverend Trevor L. Rankin, and he's going to close us out in prayer. God bless you. We love you. Uh, we have some daily bread. We will be distributing to you. And just thank you for sharing company with us today. Amen. You can talk to any one of us. You need some more information. You need prayer. Reach out to us. We are here to serve you. We are God's ambassadors. And we have an awesome group of believers who love the people of God. We also have a food pantry every first Tuesday and third Tuesday at 11 a.m. Come out and get healthy food. Enjoy the blessing of the Lord. We love you. Come on, somebody give God a praise. Amen, amen. Thank God for Minister Rankin as she spoke to you tonight, today strongly. Somebody also share, I think it was Minister Blair. I bless the Lord at all times. What happened after you bless his name? 
His praise shall continually be in our mouth. That means wherever we go, we are going to praise him. We are going to thank him. And I just want to add to that. Verse 2. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. And the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. He said, oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. This poor man cried. And the Lord heard him. And delivered him out of all his troubles. Whatever you are in, cry to the Lord. He will deliver you. But you have to trust him. You see a lot of people say God will help me. He will not help you until you are saved. God talked to me. No, the only thing God will talk to you about is when you say, Lord, I'm a sinner. Need to be saved. When you accept him, he will start listening to you. You don't understand who God is. That is why when a child is disobedient and unruly and bad, the parents not even want to talk to him. But when he...